I am Anna guys. So for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Aya and I'm a bento mom. I make fun and creative lunch boxes from my daughter Zion. I'm also into gardening and homemaking. So if these are the things that interest you, please keep on watching. So happy Monday guys. So it's the start of the week again and we're back to our online classes. So for today's creation, we're going to be doing something related to that. So let's check and see what the ingredients are and kung anong gagawin natin for today. So for today, we're going to be doing an easy back-to-school bento creation. So here are the ingredients. So we have here yellow colored rice. So for this one, I used one drop of bright yellow McCormick food coloring. I diluted it into three tablespoons of water. To achieve this color and then I just mix and mash the rice to fully incorporate the color okay and then we also have white rice and then for the details I have nori sheets so I'm using this bbgo brand ng nori sheet so sa nori sheets I just cut a few lines straight lines like this and then I cut letters, uh, A, B, C na letters. So, I just use uh, scissors. This one, a fine tip na scissor to cut the nori sheets. And then, I also cut one small triangle para sa ating pencil later. So, these lines are gonna be for the paper. So, you'll see later how we'll use it. And then, we also have hot dog slices here. This one naman will serve as the eraser ng ating pencil. So, I just got the hulo na part ng hot dog and I just slice it. And then, I also have a few triangle shapes here uh, from cheese slices. So, I'll choose which one will fit sa ating pencil. And then, for the sides, for the ulam, of course, we have hot dog. So, this is the easiest to cook for breakfast and then for our fruit we have pears and we have chocolate bar small chocolate bar twix for our dessert and i also have lettuce for the garnishing so i keep it here sa ating echo zips and i just wrap it in paper towel and then we also have here our yum box so, we're using yung ating purple na yam box. And then, we also have our cling wrap. So, we'll start by molding our rice to create a pencil shape. So, to mold our rice to create pencil shape, we'll cut a portion of our cling wrap. And then, we'll put about one tablespoon muna ng ating rice. So, when you're doing your kids ba on, again, just make sure your hands are clean. Okay? So, just wrap it sa inyong cling wrap. And then, just roll it like this to form shape ng pencil. So, roll it like that lang. Okay? And then, we can now start building our bento box. Okay? So, for our bento, we'll just put yung ating lettuce that we kept inside this for our base. Okay? So, we have already washed the lettuce. And then, I'll just put some here para maging base siya ating bento creation. So, I just want to achieve yung ruffles at the edges. So, when you pack your lettuce again, you can put them inside or wrap them in the paper towel and then store them in reusable Ziploc bags na like this. Okay? We'll put Yung ating white rice here. So just put it over the lettuce. So 
So just press the white rice over this compartment until maging compact siya. So once you put the rice here sa compartment na to, just press it again to make it compact. And then what we'll do is get our nori sheets and then we'll put the lines over our rice to create like a paper or a notebook of some sort. Okay? So let's do that. So just put it to create like a notebook or paper lines. Okay? So this is an easy bento creation. So you can just do it as is, na ganito. Or you can put other um, details if you like. But this one is okay. Just a symbol, no paper or notebook would be fine to show that it's a back to school bento creation. So we'll just finish putting our lines here. So once you're done with the lines, dun sa inyong notebook. Ako, I just cut a few letters, the A, B, C, so I can just put it here sa isang space ng ating paper. So, it's not necessary for you to cut the letters, but if you want, it's better then, so that it will be much more detailed sa notebook, right? And then, I'm just putting the sides here kasi nasa silicone cups naman na sila. So, I'll just put the ulam here. And then, our fruit here. And then, I didn't remove the uh, chocolate anymore. And then, we'll just create the pencil to put here sa ating side. Okay? So, let's set aside our bento box. And then, I'll show you how to create yung pencil out of the rice. Okay? So, ito yung roll natin kanina. So, what you want to do is just slowly pull up yung, end, yung pencil to create that uh, pointed na side ng pencil. So, you just want to flatten it like this. And here, sa taas naman yung pointed side ng pencil. Okay? So, what we want to do is open yung roll natin na pencil and then get yung hot dog. Put it here so that it will be like an eraser. So, we'll secure it with a toothpick. So, yung pencil, I put it here sa ati bento box. So, here is our finished product. So, that's it for today's bento creation. So, nilipat ko lang yung pencil here so that the tip is pointing there sa letters. So, again, the easiest way that you can do a back-to-school bento is just do the notebook or the paper lines. Ito, by cutting strips out of nori sheets and then putting it on top of the white tries. If you don't want to cut letters, you can use bento picks na letters and then just put A, B, C there. So, bala kayo mag-design or you can also use cheese slices or fruits that you can shape into letters. It's actually up to you and your imagination, okay? And you can also do the pencil kasi madali lang naman siya. So, you just gonna roll the rice, yung yellow colored rice. And then, just put a triangle tip. If you don't want to cut cheese, it's okay. Just make sure na may tip siya na dark by using the nor sheet. And then, of course, yung hot dog as the eraser. So, it's very, very easy. Again, this is a good bonding activity that you can do with your kids. So, I hope you like this. If you enjoyed, please do share para mas marami pang mag-try, mag, mag to wing And also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell para palagi kayong updated if I have a new video upload. Thank you for watching guys. See you in my next vlog. Bye!